Ladies and gentlemen, what's poppin'? It's your boy Larry Q. Jr. Jr. The H and I CEO here at Larry Jr. Music. Uh, I'm here with my brother Jason Walker. What's up? And this is another installment of this series that God's told us to do called 40 Days, 40 Rudiments, man. You know what I mean? It's real plain and simple. There are 40 standard rudiments that drummers, we have to know. We we at least need to know that, right? And uh, we're going to deal with it. We're going to take the first 40 days of the new year, you know what I'm saying, and we're going to deal with them. So uh, it's a really simple format, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we'll talk about how we gonna practice the rudiment and then we'll spend eight to ten minutes just dealing with it you know what i mean so you know we encourage you man go ahead and play along uh with us uh as you'll see in a split second you know what i mean we're we're doing something that i learned from gregory hutchison which is we're playing on top of newspapers so you got an old drum shell you got an old snare drum shell that you ain't using no more or an old tom tom shell that you ain't using no more all you got to do is is take some newspaper Put it over the top just like it's a drum, just like it's a drum head, and then put the rim on top of it, and the rim will keep the newspaper in place. And you know what I'm saying? You can go ahead and do this. And the reason why we're doing this is because we're trying to get our touch together. You know what I'm saying? We want to get our touch really, really, really light. We want to develop more control. Uh, the question I always ask cats whenever they ask me about touch on the drum set, I ask them, I'm like, well, bruh, do you play loud because you can only play loud, or do you play loud because the music requires you to? If you can play loud because the music requires you to, you know what I'm saying, but you can also play soft when the music requires you to, then you got your touch together. You know what I'm saying? If you can only play crunk level 10, then yo, you need to get your life together. You need to go back and do your first works. Dynamics. And we'll be hitting you guys over the head with some dynamic exercises, but for now, we're going to do this, this single stroke seven. What we're going to do is we're going to play it the way it looks on the Vic Firth chart, right? A sextuplet followed by a tap. And we're going to play that, uh, we're going to increase the metronome by five beats a minute, you know what I'm saying, every eight beats, right? Until we can't play it anymore, you know what I'm saying, which is going to be funny. Then, we're going to pause the video, and we're going to come back, and I'm going to show you uh, this septuplet exercise. It's a ball subdivision exercise that Dr. Stefan Stuber taught me back at Grimsley whenever I was a student of his uh, in 2002, 2003. So uh, we're going to pause the video, get, you know what I'm saying, our camera in the right angle, and we'll knock out this exercise in a second. All right. Here it is. Three, four. So that's all right, yo. All right, now let's uh, let's back it up, and we're going to just play groups of seven as whole notes. Well, well, well we're going to play the septuplets, but they're going to fall in the same space space as whole notes, right? Let me cut this thing off. 
uh, let's see, off, pal. All right. So all it is is that you're playing sevens in between these principal strokes. Hang on. <laughs> Come on, Jay. All right. Play just the just the strokes. All right. And I'm destroying this newspaper. Seven. so I can put a new sheet down. This is ridiculous, man. But what I'm learning from doing this is that my right hand, see, I'm left-handed. My right hand velocity control is some garbage. So <laughs> I just got to do it, you know what I'm saying, until I get my right hand together. So we're going to pause the video. I'm going to switch surfaces, and then uh, we'll come back. We're just going to finish this. Uh, we're just going to do sevens. So, yeah, we're just going to get right back into this, uh, into this seven exercise. But dig this. We're going to increase it every five beats. So here's what we're gonna do. So we so we got a, a a slower threshold to get our life together. I'm backing the metronome all the way back to 35, and then we'll build our threshold up from there, and we'll see right. how far we can uh, get up. You know, get up there. All right. One two one two one two three 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 one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven ah <laughs> you know what I'm saying you heard that sound it done we gonna work it out let's do it one two one two one two three one two one two one two three Yeah, man. So, yeah. as you can see, man, that ain't it's easy. It's a beast. It's a beast. Let's back it up. Let's let's do it again from 35, yo. All right. We can get from 35 to 100. Let's do it again, yo. Here it go. Let's do it. Cause that's slow. You know what I'm saying? It's hard. All right. Four. Uh,
and made it to one. Bro, that was one ten. That's what's up. Yeah, so we're going every 100. time. Heck yeah. yeah. So y'all, work this out. You know what I mean? We'll holler at you soon. Peace.